Um, all right, blended families are a fast-growing trend and have been for some time. More children are now living with a step-parent, step-siblings or both. But how do you make this modern family work and co-parent children who haven't known you all of their lives? Author Angela Vassalo is uh, a second wife and stepmom who's written a guide for the uninitiated. She joins me now. Uh, Angela, great to have you along. Thank you. Thank you for um, having me. It's, how big a problem do you think this is? Well, I think what I found in the last decade... I've been part of my blended family for nearly 15 years. But in the last decade, what I've noticed is a very, very big growing trend, like you said. And we need more advice out there. We need more information. We need to be able to help the second wives and the blended families stay together. Okay, so in your particular situation, you've got two... Your husband has two children from a previous marriage. That's right. And then you have had a child together. Yes. Okay. So I've I've been reading some of you. We've got some tips in a moment to give to people. But but Mm -hmm. one of them is treat everyone fairly. Yeah, definitely. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah, Okay. (laughs) Blood is thicker than water. I agree. If if push comes to shove, mm. at the end of the day, and you can mm-hmm. only save one, yep. you'd save your own, wouldn't you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> First time I've been asked that question. Look, I'm just going to say it like this. If you're going to come into a blended family and become part of a, se- a, a, a family dynamic like this, being the second wife or the stepmom, you need to say, I'm going to take this on the best that I can do. Put your big girl pants on and be the best that you can be at it. It's just, it's not about, it's about doing the right thing for the children and creating that blended family, no favouritism, doing the right thing. At the end of the day, you know, it, it is a, it's an important role. Right. And in your case, probably not so hard because it's not completely blended in that you your child is with your current husband. So yes. it is a biological sibling yes. um, to, to your stepchildren. That's right. Um, so you come in, okay, let's look at some of the problems that, that a, a stepmom, a new stepmom faces. There's quite often, I should imagine, considerable resentment. Yes. And look, I look at it like this. You see the man, you fall in love with him, but what you don't see is this huge village standing right behind him that all have an impact and an influence on your relationship. Now, we're not just talking the children. We're talking his ex-wives, parents. Ex-wives, his talking, parents, the uh, ex-wife's parents. See, the family has already been why there. Why would you do it? I know. <laughs> But the reality is it's a very fast growing trend and more and more people are becoming blended families. And it's because the divorce rate was so high and then obviously people are in their 30s and 40s and want to remarry and they may have, you know, children from previous marriages. What's your advice with regard to discipline for a stepmother? Because particularly in the early stages, you're liable to be up against that resentment for any number of... Resentment on many different fronts. Yeah. Bad behaviour. Do you get involved in discipline or do you just abdicate that responsibility? Well, I always said in the house... Us. We set the boundaries and the rules together as a partnership. You just It's very difficult for the stepmom to come in and lay down the authority and make the rules for, you know, the whole household on her own. She needs, yep. You need to be a united front with your partner. If you don't have that, you, it's very difficult for you to be able to do that. But if you have a united front, then you can set the boundaries and the guidelines and then you can be able to discipline with both of you together. You do know, we, we work really any, hard on that. Are there any stats on how many blended families just ultimately don't work, just fall apart because those relationships yeah. can't be made to work? Yeah, look, it's it's high. Mm. That's all I'm going to say. The second marriage, it's the, statistically, it's very high for a second marriage to fail. That's why I want to be able to help the second wife and the stepmom write the book, give her the tips and the information to be able to keep a, a lot more more of these blended families together. Is it who, who who do you think most of the responsibility falls on here? Because obviously it is. I mean, you've described it as a village of people, just this yes. whole cluster. Um, yeah. And I suppose everyone, to a to a degree, is equally responsible. Yeah. But when it when push comes to shove again, who's the one that has to be prepared to give that little bit more? The second wife and the stepmom. Mm. No doubt about it. You do have to put your ego in your pocket and be willing to take a role on like this. But it, look, it's it's not that bad. It's 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 been an amazing experience for me. It's been How over hard, a were decade. How were you in that situation? where you had to you actually had to form a workable relationship with your husband's previous wife. Uh, we d- I decided to extend the olive branch. It took a long time. These relationships take a long time to build. And once you do do that, it makes life a lot different. And it's much easier for the stepchildren when you can actually get yeah. along. And you walk into a family event and it's not that terrible feeling. It's like you have to meet the ex-wife or oh, you have to catch the, up. Because you're going to have weddings. You're going to have right. all kinds of things these kids are doing. You're going to be sitting next to the ex-wife. I always say the best you can do to try to be able to extend the olive branch, be able to get along, walk in a room and be able to say, 
hi, how are you? Without everyone looking at you thinking, are they going to have a cat fight? Is, yeah. is there is something going to go down happens. or a showdown? This is Definitely be good. that type of stuff This is better happens. than Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So if people are, uh, they're watching now, they're listening now, they're in a situation like this, they can pick your book up. It'll be in bookshops soon. It's available on Amazon and everything like that. Yes. Now, if you go to our website as well, paulhenry.co.nz, um, later on today, there'll be a link to click on there because you've made a New Zealand specific 30 mm-hmm. day challenge for blended families. How does that work? Well, it's 30 tips in 30 days. Mm. So I really want the second wife and the stepmom to be able to do one of these tips each day to be able to create more harmony and happiness in your blended family. Right. Something and this practical. isn't too touchy feely, is it? This is actual no, practical it's stuff. Absolutely. It's not yeah. like humming in the corner or getting everyone to share their feelings. These are the things that I found that have helped me be able to create harmony in my blended family and come out the other end. And I really want to help a lot of other women be able to do the same thing. Brilliant. Angela, thank you so much for coming in. Thank Angela Vasallo. Uh, the book is uh, The Second Wives Guide. Um, and, the, and you know the interesting thing there? You just got to be prepared to suck it up. You know, sometimes you've got to make a few more compromises.